Good day everyone, I hope you're doing well as per usual. And if you're not doing well, it's up to me to try and cheer you up with some stupidity. Uh, my name is Nick, one of the ZX Spectrum 48K, and we're looking at a game called City Slicker, published by Houston Consultants in 1986. The game also came out on the Amstrad CPC. It's a platformer where you must um, stop the enemy, Abru Kadabra, from blowing up the uh, Houses of Parliament. So a bit like Guy Fawkes then, you do this by finding numerous parts of a bomb defusal unit, a BDU, and returning it back to the base. Uh, the enemy, Abru Kadabra, will be wandering around the map, so if you bump into him, it will result in instant death. City Slicker, it sounds like a good game then, doesn't it? But we'll see how it really does play. Uh, this is nincompoop gameplay, so it's not expert, it's not a walkthrough. We're playing for fun, as you would have done in your first or second go. We're stress busting and having a laugh. Right, here we go. Uh, right, here I am down the bottom. This guy looks a bit like um, the bloke from ELO. And I've uh, bumped into Abracadabra straight away, and what's happened? I've died! Did you have a stopwatch there? How long was that go? Right, here's the game over sequence then, of the Houses of Parliament blowing up. Can we skip past this? No. Uh, so we got to all the way through, we've got to watch through this. That could get a bit annoying quite quickly. Um, someone was obviously tasked with doing the game over sequence, which seems to last a longer, lot longer than my actual go. Anyway, it starts off at 8 o'clock in the morning, you must find all the parts of the bomb disposal unit before midnight or it's Doomsville. Uh, you can pick up items, you can see in my inventory down below. So here comes Abru Kadabra, we don't want to bump into him. So it's quite cruel early on. Well that door's opening and going back and forth. Can I go through there? Don't know. But let's go up here then, it seems to want me to go up here. There seems to be a switch on the top left, I don't know if that is anything, in yellow. Uh, let's go over that skull. Right, inventory, status, and energy. So we're not going to die unless we hit Abru Kadabra straight away. Oh, it looks like we've got an energy bar. Right, Biff, is that going to land? Jumping is a little bit floaty, but acceptable. I find this guy a bit hard to uh, love, but he's a city slicker. I used to work in the city. I didn't look like this. Right, there's a switch. That's not doing anything. Why? What's the point of that? Um, food keeps turning up every now and again. I imagine that is to just uh, increase your energy. But according to that sign, we're in the tower dungeon. It's quite an extensive map on this one. And I've died again because I bumped into Abru Kadabra. At the moment, I hate this game. Uh, if you had this one back in the day, let me know. It's a shame you can't skip past this uh, sequence and pressing everything. If you do know how to skip past it, then let me know in the comment section below. So if you as many games as we can do. I never know they're going to be good or rubbish before I actually load them up. Uh, they're 1986 Houston Consultants. I think other games are available in Houston Consultants, and a lot of them are less annoying and more playable than this. Now, the games that always um, go down in folklore history were the games where it could create a bit of atmosphere. It was quite easy to start off with, or you saw a percentage of the games, which uh, gave your childlike mind to buy into the idea and the genre and the experience of the whole thing, the atmosphere. When the game doesn't allow you to get into the atmosphere of it and has annoying music as well, it's it's a bit of a struggle. So I've gone somewhere different this time. A uh, bit of colour clash, but that's acceptable for ZX Spectrum and of the era as well. Uh, so let's go up this ladder and try and explore as much as we possibly, possibly can. Okay, so I'm holding a vase, it says in the inventory. I don't know what I do, what I do with that. There's a telephone. Can we turn that on? There's pick up and drop keys. Um, yes, turn on the telephone. Yes, you got me hanging on the telephone. It's had a status there which changed uh, briefly. It's already quarter past eight. So time isn't going in real time. Thank God for that. Up on the roof. Up on the roof. If you completed this game, let me know. It's a bit clunky. It's not fun to control. Uh, the music is blooming annoying. And there's a bird there dumping everywhere. If you're a bird dumping everywhere, then comment in the comment section below. City Slicker. Yeah, I wouldn't have had this in the box. I don't think I would have played it a great deal. It's interesting. I like, I like his feet as he's walking along there. That's quite uh, clever. But um, I am having to look for stuff, stuff now. And the, the, the deaths are annoying. The jumping is annoying. And if Abracadabra hits you once, that's annoying as well. But maybe it's one of those games where you need to show it some love. But I was a, I was a kid with a um, not much of an attention span, as I've grown up to an adult with not much of an attention span. And if it didn't at least give me something at the start, with lots of choice available now, especially in retro gaming, lad, is, here comes Abru again. I, I won't be playing it again. I'm in, I'm in bother here, aren't I?
Oops, there we go. I've got some rose. That's, well, didn't get to a full new screen. Oh, Abru! See? And it's taking me right back here again. What? How frustrating. I don't think I would have seen much of the map of this game. Um, I would uh, I would um, try and speed this up by actually bringing a bomb in myself and putting that under uh, the House of the Parliament. House of the Parliament, HP. Here's a bit of trivia for you. You know HP Source? I'm not sure if it's available anywhere else apart from the UK. But you know HP Source? It's brown source. Uh, HP, uh, if you look at the bottle closely, there's a picture of the Houses of Parliament on it. Because HP stands for the Houses of Parliament. So I don't know if they invented brown source or what the story was there. That's probably the most exciting thing you'll see on this video. That information about HP Source, which you can tell everyone. Uh, but don't play, don't play City Slicker. What are Hewson consultants thinking of here? It could have been good, uh, but um, maybe they made the character slightly smaller so jumping wasn't... That's the problem. It's a little bit compressed. There's not much of an area to, j to jump around, so you've got to be too precise to make any um, uh, distance on it. That's that's what it is. Give us more room, please. It's uh, badly way And also, as well, when you, you die, go back to that, that first bit there. Uh, I hate this game. It's, it's a shame really, from the screenshots you would have thought it would have been um, quite a bit um, better, but it isn't. Um, I mean, with the Spectrum in, in general, there were so, so many games to, to choose from, so, so many games out there. I mean, most of the games we review now I'd never heard of, so I'm only seeing them going back through uh, various back catalogues there. But um, yeah, it's, it's not one people are talking about. Um, uh, if, if if you lent it to a friend and he na never gave it back, you you wouldn't be you wouldn't go too quickly to try and track him down and get it back, would you? You think, oh, fair enough, he's got it now. Good luck to him, city slicker. You're not going to watch the, watch this and think, right? I'm going to be I'm going to be some city slicker. I mean, it's not the Wolf of Wall Street, is it? Have you seen Have you seen that movie? They were city slickers. What's this? No, just tr stopping a bomb under the Houses of Parliament. Yes. Anyway, I think lots of people want to do that now. Disclaimer, don't do that. This is a PG channel. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for doing so. And uh, I will mention it as I do in every video in case you're new to the channel. If you want to see other ZX Spectrum games we've reviewed, uh, Spectrum came out in 1982, or the 48K one did anyway. ZX81 a little bit before then than ZX80. But if you want to see other games we've reviewed, they're in a playlist over a thousand. Yes, that's right, you heard correctly. To get there, click on my username. Um, that takes you to the channel page. If we get killed again, uh, click on the playlist tab. ZX Spectrum will be there. Along a load of other systems as well, like Commodore Amiga, Commodore 64, those Spectrum we do the most, so a bit of PlayStation there, some Game Boy Advance, Atari 2600, Sega, Mega Drive, it's a few uh, SNES and Nintendo 64 stuff as well, and maybe a few other bits I've missed, but this is this is like the core, the ZX Spectrum land. If you are a city slicker, comment below, especially if you've got thousands and thousands and thousands and you can become a member if you want big, big thank you to the members that's keeping this channel going it's not a full-time channel although the amount of content that goes up you might think it's a full-time channel but it isn't uh if if um if i could ever go full-time it's been a dream for absolute years i'm starting to lose the faith whether it is actually possible um i have tried it a couple of times and always bankrupted myself so I'm a bit a uh, bit worried to have another risk on it unless the membership is there but you know if uh if uh, it ever was there, i give it a go, and the content will be, well, a bit more advanced, be a few more blogs and that sort of stuff as well, and probably a bit more PlayStation stuff, and we'll go a bit further. But anyway, that's the dream, but let's just beat stress, let's phone someone up, maybe Batman can help us. It's the Bat Phone. Uh, my favourite game with telephones in was probably Manic Miner, Attack of the Mutant Telephones, that was one of the stages there. I think Lady Gaga and Beyonce were probably influenced with that when they um, released that song. Telephone. Citation needed. That information might be wrong. Right. Um. Come on, city slicker. Oh look, I want to jump over to that green door behind the green door. Shaking Stevens reference again. I don't want to be playing this anymore. Uh, I, I've showed you hardly any screens. I think. It goes into demo mode, doesn't it, before, you, before the game actually starts. So maybe, if you want to see some of the other screens, we can uh, hang on a bit and I can jibber-jabber through there. But I think you've seen uh, enough. Uh, there's a game, this character reminds me a little bit, whether it was influenced there. I did say it looked like the, uh, the, the mate lead singer of um, ELO, called Jeff someone. Uh, but uh, there is a homebrew we reviewed a little while ago called Jeff and the Blue Notes, if you want to check that one um, out. That's a bit more fun than this, although it is a bit of a challenge in certain places. But uh, 
Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, ELO weren't City <laughs> Slickers, were they? Um, I, I don't like this game at all. It's not gelling. I don't know what the ratings would have been at the time. They might have liked it. I'm not sure. I try and stay away from them so I'm not influenced, so I can tell you what I think of the game. So sometimes I might be with the majority. Sometimes I might not. As I say, if you had this back in the day and you've got memories that go with it, uh, you know, friends you played the game with, you, you might get a bit more fun out of it. But without the nostalgia value here, uh, I find it almost impossible uh, to love compared to, as I say, what was also available out there at a similar time. Uh, the House of Parliament are blowing up and I really wish that the game was blowing up as well. You've been foiled, uh, Slick. Try again. No, I won't. Okay. So let's hang on a bit then in demo mode, see what extra screens we've got. So we saw that one, that was the uh, the tower dungeon which we started at. Quite awkward with, a, with that yellow switch that don't seem to be doing anything. We saw this bit here and I was always struggling to get through uh, jumping over that green uh, sentry man. I don't know if he's supposed to be a beef eater maybe, but all in green this time like the Riddler from Batman. This is about as far as we got, so didn't get here. Uh, well, okay. There's the house, I think that's that Buckingham Palace, is it, in the back row, with the magenta flag, a few steps there going down. Uh, I think you get the general idea, don't you, really? So we will we will uh, leave it there. So I hope you like to look at it. I find it extremely frustrating, and uh, not a game I really would have put in the time to put perfect, and the, the game over sequence, you, c you can't skip it, and that's blooming annoying as well. So anyway, that was City Slicker on the ZX Spectrum 48K, played by Houston Consultants in 1986. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that in the comment section below. You're more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. I think Lady Gaga and Beyonce will probably influence her with their telephone. Citation needed, that information might be wrong.